very good, no? Mm. I saw this guy playing at a gig last week as well. It's very nice. Dude, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You're barely listening to the guy. I'm just enjoying the music. So you've been lost all evening. What's happening? Is it uh, um, Tara? You know what? It's over. And I can't get over it. Frustrated? Do I have a choice? I've been trying to just do whatever I can to get my mind off things. Why do you think I'm even sitting with you? Mm. She was it. And now she's gone. You know it's not the end, right? I don't know, Abel. I thought she was the one. We, we had something going. We just vibed it. So many levels and I don't know if you understand when I tell you but we have this this common sense of purpose. Yeah. And and even our dreams kind of matched. We wanted the same things out of life, but I don't know what happened. It just drifted. And now to be honest, I just can't take it. You remember when uh, when I broke up with Jen? Dude, like, even with her, I thought it was, you know, we were going the distance. And then we broke up. Nasty breakup. It was very bad. But, uh, you know, one of my biggest realizations from those times was, well, first of all, we were like you guys, right? I mean, we, you know, there was this common sense of purpose and our dreams matched. That's exactly what I felt with Tara. Yeah, but I mean, where I'm going with that is, despite all of that, the realization I had was the fact that I'm human, she's human, and humans are flawed, period. And when you put that much trust in a relationship or you set your expectations so high from a, you know, your relationship, you think that's it, uh, dude, you're setting yourself up in a sense for failure. Because you, a human is going to fail you at some point. And I think it was around, well, it was around that time that, now you may not agree with what I'm about to say, or you may agree with it, but hear me out. It was around that time that I realized that a lot of what I was looking for in a, in a relationship it came from a place of loneliness, I guess, but it also came from a place of actually wanting a sense of fulfillment. And I already said that's, you know, that was completely off. But it was around that time as well that I met God. Hear me out, hear me out. When I say God, I mean very specifically Jesus. And I realized, you know, once I had a relationship with Him, it really did sort out a lot of my other relationships, you know. And no, go ahead, go ahead. I don't know, dude. God, really? See, I like okay. Like I know you don't agree with me. I know you may not necessarily agree with me, and we don't have to have this conversation now. But all I'm saying is, anything worthwhile is also worth exploring, and this is what helped me. For me, this is what I found to be the truth. And for me, truth needs to be explored, right? Only then can you possibly accept it as the truth or not. So, this helped me, and I'm just saying, hey, it might help you as well. Sorry, hold on a second. Hold on. Hello? Yeah, hey man, what's up? Yeah, no, 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 it sounds good. Tomorrow. Sure, yeah, 5.30 is good, yeah. Palace Brown. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be there. Thanks for letting me know. Hey, yeah, sweet. Bye. Bye. That was Ashwin. Uh, so there's this concert happening tomorrow at uh, 
palace club and uh, it's a christian band but the music's quite good mm. do you want to come i'm not doing anything tomorrow so it's cool see cool yeah